Real humility is not walking around, well, I don't matter. I'm no, you know, no, not me. Don't, don't look at me. It's not about me. If somebody tells you it's not about them, it's always about them. <laughs> always. That, that, that's what they do to draw it. Oh, look how humble they are. No, no. But the fact is, when people do that, that's not real humility. When they walk around going, well, you know, no, don't look at me. I'm just, I'm just a vessel to be used. No, no, that's not what Jesus said. And so whenever they say that, you have to realize that that's not humility. Humility is saying, you know what? Man, I don't feel like the righteousness of God. But I am. And, you know, he said that I can ask in his name. And it'll happen. Now, I'm not asking based on my you know, qualities or whatever it is, but I'm asking based on his. And that's humility. When you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and submit yourself unto God, which means submitting yourself to his word. So that's real humility. And, and listen, Jesus was humble, but he said, no man comes to the father, but by me. That didn't sound humble, but it was true. And Jesus agreed with truth, which is what made him humble. You understand? When you agree with truth, you're becoming humble. You're acting, you're being humble. Does that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> so it's not about, listen, humility is not demeaning yourself because if you demean yourself, you're going to demean others. Why? Because you cannot love others any more than you love yourself. Isn't that right? Amen. Amen. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, because you, whenever you, the Bible says very clearly that we are to love our neighbor as ourself. So you have to love yourself or you can't even love your neighbor. Because if you don't love, now listen, I'm not talking about over the top. I'm not talking about being, having to be the, the person. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about having to be in, in a way when, you, when I'm talking about uh, you know, loving yourself. I'm not talking about that, well, you love yourself to the exclusion of everybody else. No, I'm talking about the way Abraham did it. Where Abraham said, you know, look, you, 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 take, you go to the left if you want to go, or you go to the right. If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, I'll go to the left. In other words, you do what you do. Cause why? Because I'm going to walk with God, and no matter where I go, I'm going to be blessed. Amen. I don't have to take the good. I can give you the good, and I can take the bad, and God will turn the bad into the good. Amen? Amen. But it's that, it's that mindset, if you want to call it that, that is humility of being able to say, okay, you take first pick. You, you, you decide. And then I'll, I'll take whatever's left because here's what I know. It has nothing to do with you, but I know that wherever I put my hands, it's going to be blessed. Wherever I put my foot, I'm going to own it. Amen? Amen. And see, that's not being proud. Exactly. That you walking in the blessing, that you trusting God, that you humbling yourself and submitting yourself to the truth of the word of God. 